Hey everybody, so today is a pretty quick video and it's more of a, a kickoff video of sorts to talk about a new series that I'm working on that's going to be focused solely on the particle system within DaVinci Resolve. The particle system is vast, covers a lot of ground, it's extremely powerful, it's also extremely difficult. Uh, the, a lot of the features are, are not fully documented, so I think this is going to be a really fun series to dig into. I think by the end of it, we're all going to have a really good fundamental understanding of how the particle system works and we're going to be able to make our own interesting particle effects without just kind of putting a bunch of nodes together, flipping a few switches, trying a couple of levers and hope something cool turns out. That's what we want to avoid. We want a good deep understanding from the ground up and that's my goal for this series. One of the good things about DaVinci Resolve is it ships with some good templates and we can use those templates to get a really good understanding of how the particle system works. And we're not gonna go through those too much today, but what I do wanna show you is where you can find them. So here I am in Fusion, and I have a Fusion composition, and I just have the media out here. And what you can do is you can come up here to the effects library, and then you'll see under effects, you'll see templates, expand templates, and we can come down and find particles. Here is a number of fantastic examples. A lot of these examples are really quite good, that you could sort of use out of the box or you can use these to do some some changes or whatever so for example if i were to take at the very bottom there's this steam this is the one that i was using in the intro of this video bring it down here and you can see here's the node structure to create that effect and we can just sort of pull this over to the media out node i can push play i'm just going to come up here i'm going to go under check or underlay to make this a black background and there we go we have our steam effect it's that simple at least it looks that simple, but when you look at it down here in the node tree, there's quite a bit going on. So what we're going to do with this series is we're going to start off with my next video, and it's going to be talking about the particle emitter node. That's this node right here, and that essentially is the source where all these particles are generated from. And then you do all this stuff to these individual particles, and you can, uh, and you can output a, a pretty interesting effect. So the first video, or maybe even the first two videos, is just going to be focused on this particle emitter node. There's quite a bit to cover there and unless we have a, a really good understanding of that we're going to be skipping ahead a little bit too fast and a lot of the other stuff won't make sense. So what I thought I would do with this video because it's such a short one I still want to give something that's of some value. So what I've done is I've created a clip. I've gone through all these templates and I've just put them back to back and this will hopefully give everybody a sense of what's possible and maybe get the imagination turning a little bit as to what some effects that you guys might want to come up on, on your own after we go through this tutorial. So let's take a look.
So thanks so much for checking this out, guys. I'll be back in a few days with the first video in the series, focusing again on just the particle emitter node, and we're going to build from there. Take care and talk soon.